What is this? Well, when the staff came to open the store this morning, it was already like this. They... ...posed working with us when they... Inspector Hasegawa is quite a mouthful. Yeah, Zenkichi's good, don't you think? Oh, fine, whatever. You've already dragged me along this far today. Now then, the desire should have materialized at this point. It's up to us to take them back and return them to their rightful owners. And in doing so, we'll set his distorted heart straight. Mr. Overlord? We're gonna give back all those desires you stole!
stands. This is no doubt the Overlord from Prince of Nightmares. He certainly gives off that impression. But weren't the Fearsome Four just dressed like normal people? Yeah, thinking about it, those guys didn't get much love from the author, did they? <laughs> You've come all this way only to fall right into my trap. This world belongs to me and me alone. It takes shape solely according to my design. Here, the Overlord reigns just precious. It's bold for someone who stole others' desires just to satisfy their own selfish wants. Yeah, if you're really the Overlord, ain't this the part where you get your ass kicked? <laughs> Tell me, how many of my demon brethren have you slaughtered while spouting such despicable hypocrisies? Wow, this guy's reading right from the handbook, isn't he? Enough of this. It's time we fought, no matter how brave a facade you put on. It's clear you're just afraid of losing that hollow throne you're so proud of. What was that? Your reign is not but an illusion. Allow us to show you the truth! I'm sick and tired of everyone looking down on me. Yes, the time has come for my true power. You wretched shall witness my final form!
this one. Okay. Is there anything we can do? Over here, those swords stuck in the ground. Use those to turn them into a pin cushion. Use this to me! Identity was just a cheap imitation. It's over, Uncle Natsume. You're just a bunch of stupid kids! You don't know how much I've suffered! It's not too late for me! I've still got my reputation as a writer! I've won an award! I've sold books! It's not too late! It's never too late! And that's good enough for you? <laughs> this fame you've acquired through deception and the brainwashing of others. Is that truly what you wanted? What was the real reason you started writing novels? I... I mean, I... Damn it! Damn it! I tried. I really tried. Just like everyone else, read and read all through the night. For hours on end, like my life depended on it. And for what? It's ever mine. It was just another word from Sogo Natsume's grandson. A 
one, no one ever acknowledged my effort. My effort, not my work, not even me. No matter where I look, all I see is a bunch of thoughtless idiots, slaves to appearances, and nothing more. Acknowledge me, damn it. Acknowledge Ango Natsume's efforts for once. I just want someone to see that I really tried. I do. Huh? It's very clear just how much work you've put into writing your novels. A life led by creativity is almost always a lonely one. No matter your profession. You are battling that loneliness. You braced yourself. Pouring your very soul into your writing, bringing it to your publisher time and time again. I will gladly acknowledge such effort and determination. <laughs> there are many out there who would give up that battle. Even those of exceptional skill and creativity. To be able to continuously bring life to new works without giving up, however. That is perhaps the most exceptional talent of all. There was once a time when you kept fighting. That is one part of your career that could never be labeled a fabrication. So start over, Ango Natsume. Claw your way back up from nothing and move forward. After all, there are some things that simply cannot be painted without a blank canvas. <laughs> it is because everyone believed in me that I was able to choose the path I walk today. I stopped lying to myself and was able to begin anew. So it is now my turn to pay it forward. Even if I'm the only one in the world to do so, I will believe you. <sighs> Stupid kid. Talking my damn ear off. But... You're right. This identity of mine was built on nothing but lies. I don't need it anymore! do it. I'll climb my way back up. And I'll do it on my own strength. I'll write a novel that'll capture the hearts of countless readers, just like my grandfather before me. I'll write something I can be proud of. To everyone, I swear it! Good. And I'll be looking forward to the day I get to read it. <laughs> you know, I really am stupid. How did I let myself forget? I know now what it is I really wanted. <sighs> the cage is collapsing. Come on, we're leaving. Looks like it's over for now. Mission complete. I wonder if everyone's desires have been returned yet. Probably. They all went flying out of the cage after all. Maybe we should check on the people back in town, just to be safe. Good idea. That said, the jail didn't disappear this time either. Now I'm sure of it. Jails really aren't the same as palaces. Well, we can worry about it later. Indeed. Let's go. Hey. I feel as though I'm restless right now. Do you know what this is? I'm not sure what's wrong. Natsumi tried his hardest, but somewhere along the way, he lost sight of what mattered to him. He is a strange person, Natsume.
Yes, he did say he would climb back up. Yusuke said Natsume lost his way because he was alone. Whenever I think about that, I feel restless inside. Even though Natsume hurt a lot of people and was, for some time, one of our enemies. What is this feeling? I was all excited for the Tanabata festival, but... Oh, by the way, did you ever finish reading that manga I lent you? I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it worked. Yeah. Doesn't look like anyone's talking about Natsume anymore. Then, all's as it should be. Obtaining fame through some deceptive power doesn't fit his image. This wouldn't have been possible without you being there to open his eyes, Yusuke. You really took charge today, Inari. Thank you. However, we're not finished just yet. We must confirm whether the change of heart was a success. For now, we'll just have to wait and see how things turn out. Oh. Well, since we've got some free time, can we unwind at a bathhouse or something? Totally neat. Good idea. We can freshen up a little before we head back to the car. You heard him, Sophia. It's all you. Okay. I'll find the best bathhouse in the area. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I've called this press conference to give an announcement, as well as a formal apology. First, my novel, Prince of Nightmares, was recently bestowed the honor of receiving first place in the Sokaisha Awards. I have decided to give the award back. I've also decided to recall all published copies not to mention take the necessary steps to refund everyone's money. I'm sure you all want to know my reasons for doing so. The truth is, my book, Prince of Nightmares, only won because of my status as Sogo Natsume's grandson. In short, the competition was fixed. In addition, I've also stolen the work of countless other authors, word for word. Lastly, the story I told about writing to inspire a hospitalized girl was nothing but a lie to garner sympathy. This fabrication allowed my book to sell a number of copies it nowhere near deserved. I wish to apologize for this scandal, and I'll start by personally seeing to it that everyone who bought my book is refunded. I promise my writing career ends here. I am deeply sorry for all that I've done to all of you. Uh, hold on, Mr. Natsume. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Hey, time to wrap it up. Get everyone out of here, now. Please, don't interfere. This is my way of taking responsibility. Hey, something doesn't seem right here. Mr. Natsume's the one who put this thing together, right? Do you think the editors were just trying to profit off Mr. Natsume's family name? Uh. allow this you you were the one from the party i'm so sorry for what i said back then i will not allow you to cower and run away ango natsume you intend to make a comeback do you not huh? when you do return to the literary world i want to see a book with your name on it not your grandfather's <gasps> 
You are going to write a novel that you can be proud of, are you not? Thank you. Thank you so very much. Who are they supposed to be? Once everything is rightfully resolved, I will make my return. Even if there's just one person out there waiting to read my stories, no matter what, I will keep writing. I only hope I can one day save someone's soul the way my grandfather's novel saved mine when I was young. That is why I write. Sheesh, you kids are something else. Barging in on a press conference like that? My apologies. It was imperative that I speak with him. Eh, it's fine. Alright, well, I gotta run. I have to go question Natsume. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't end with just an apology. Senkichi's really doing his job. It's almost like he's an actual cop or something. I am an actual cop. Anyway, it won't take long. So go on and wait for me back at the car. Guess we should get rolling then. Right. We'll leave the rest to him. Do you have a moment? Something about Natsume has been bothering me. What he did was no doubt unforgivable. Nothing will change that. However, was he really like Matarame? Can he truly be called evil like the palace rulers we confronted in the past? Had he simply ignored his editors, would he have strayed from his path? Or am I perhaps just sympathizing with someone who pursues the arts like myself? What do you think? So you think so as well? Then... What is the purpose of these jails? Oh, well, I suppose there's no point in thinking on it right this second. Forgive me, I didn't mean to hold you up. We should return to the car as well. Let's go. Huh. 